Hi, this is Adam from Inflectra, and today I'm going to be showing you how to record your first test case in JavaScript using Rupees. And in today's test, we're going to be automating this simple web application. The first thing we're going to do is go into Rupees, and we're going to go to the File menu, and we're going to choose the option to create new test. When you do that, it's going to pop up a window. If you're using Spira Team, you can create the test directly in your test management tool. Otherwise, just click the Create Local button, and that's going to save the test case directly on our local hard drive. The first thing we need to do now is give our test a name, and I'm going to choose uh, Web Test 1. And now we'll also need to choose the type of test. Since this is a web application, we will choose the Web Cross Browser Testing option. We also need to choose the browser, and then you can change this later, so don't worry. But for right now, I am going to choose Firefox, as that's the browser I have running. When I click OK, it's now going to prompt me for my choice of language. For today's video, we'll be using JavaScript for advanced users. If you're interested in using the scriptless visual language, we have a separate video in our playlist. Having chosen JavaScript, it will now create a brand new test. When you create the test, it will initially have nothing in it except a test function. As we start to record, you're going to see your test functions appear in this. So now what we'll do is hit the record button. Because I chose Firefox, it actually brings up the Firefox browser, and then I will enter the URL in to the application you're going to test. I did that already. Once this is up, all you need to do now is start using the application. So if I click on the login button, and then enter a login and password, and the login and password for this sample application is librarian and librarian, if you're going to use it yourself. And it records the event right here. Click on login. And now that we've logged in, we want to verify that we logged in correctly. So what we'll do is we'll click on the verify option after we've moved the mouse over librarian. So we choose control and one, and that brings up the verify box. And then what we'll do is click the inner text option. If you wanted to verify a different property, you can choose anything from the list here. Now I'll click OK, and it added my verify step right here. I'm now going to click on the option to, to create a new book. And when the screen appears, I'll enter a book name. I'm also going to choose a different author. Then I hit insert. You'll notice it's been recording my actions as I've been doing it. And the last thing I want to do is verify my book was created correctly. So to do that, I'm going to use this verify button. I move the mouse over the name of the book. I then do control and one again. And I choose the inner text option again. Hit OK. And there's my verification. All I have to do now is hit log out. I've logged out, and I can now hit Finish. And there's my test. And if you look, what it's done is recorded an action for every operation I did in the application. And in the left-hand side in the tree, you'll see we actually have all the recorded objects. If you find that something's been recorded more than once, which can happen if you click twice, you can remove it directly from the script right here. And then all that you have to do now is just play it back. Playback is really easy. If you want to play it back in the same browser, you just hit the play button. Make sure the web browser is ready. And it will now play back in the browser. As it's playing back, you'll notice that on the bottom right, there is the playback screen that will show you the progress. And there you go, it shows all the steps passed. To play back in a different browser is pretty easy also. You just go to your star page, choose a different browser. I'll choose Internet Explorer right here. And then just hit the play button again. It pops up the other browser. And it's playing it back exactly the same way. And there you go, now it's played back in a second browser. And that's how you record and play back a simple web test using Rupees in JavaScript. If you'd like to watch more videos about automated testing and Rupees, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.